What's up, everybody? We are back here, Heroes Tactics. This is, I believe, episode number five in the Let's Play series. And you can see we are in the tasks, and we've accumulated a lot of stamina because we've been getting these free stamina bonuses every single day. I haven't been playing as much on this account, uh, but we have been logging in to make sure we get our daily login bonus, get our stamina, and get our free uh, summons out of the thingy. Oh, it's maxed. So we're not getting any more. So we need to go. So free summons out of the wishing pool. The free check-in over here. Making sure that we're getting our arena points. And we just unlocked the general store. Which means you can purchase items. So you want to go ahead and buy these things. These things are fairly cheap. You're going to need them to equip on your heroes. You don't want the hero's diaries. As you can see, 5,000 gold. Really expensive. Uh, you probably don't want the soul stone guy right there. As you can see, it's very, very expensive. Uh, but all these little materials and equipments... Definitely go and grab those guys. Let's take a look here at the tasks. So let's see. We want to do all our daily tasks if possible. Complete any stage 10 times. If that's just complete story stages, it doesn't matter anything. Uh, three arena challenges. Purchase gold. So let's go jump into the story mode. We'll be able to just crush it with the kind of like the auto feature over here. Alright, so those things have been pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're just going to speed through a whole bunch of this. Maybe a 10 times speed. So bear with us. We are going to go and find something that's actually challenging to do. Alright, so we're getting close to the end here where these things are starting to get one star only. So we're going to head out of here. We're going to start equipping things, check out our tasks. Maybe we can, yep, filled up. So it looks like the max on stamina is about 500. Um, we are very close to finishing the story mission there. Let's do the arena. So let's go upgrade some skills. We could do that. We have some money. Let's go focus on our main hero here, Dracula. There goes our money, guys. And we have all the equipment to give him. When you promote him, he should get a new skill, a passive skill. So he's going to become even stronger. Life steal. Wow, and he's almost ready to go up to the next level as well. So you do want to focus on whatever hero that you get out of that wishing well. Once you get your first wish for 288 gems. Because that is going to be obviously your, your strongest hero. We need this guy here. Where do we gather it from? Gold mines. That is locked. So let's go to the wishing well. So the other part of the reason you do the tasks is to level up your hero, your main character, your, your actual account. You can see you get a lot of EXP, so we jumped up to level 11 there. Pick those up. Alright, let's go back into the legendary one, since we have a lot of stamina. Actually, no, this looks like a basic one. Very, very easy. Two units. Look at that. That lifesteal looks pretty cool on Dracula. Let's see. So we need one more right there. We're not going to get any EXP out of this, but we get some items, it looks like. 
damn, the life still looks cool. Alright, yeah, so as you do that, it unlocks the next one right there. So we could just go ahead and grab all those. But let's look at the daily ones to try and get EXP. So, store missions, arena challenge, crystals for gold. Let's go do that. We need some gold. It's only 10, and then it's 20. Oh, we got lucky times 3 bonus, which means we have enough gold to go purchase all 10 of those summons in the wishing well to get another hero. So this is the next thing that you really want to do is you want to do the 90,000 gold first 10 wishes gets a hero. So you do it right here, 10 wishes, and you're going to get a hero out of this. So here goes nothing, guys. Merlin! We got a wizard. All right. So we are very, very poor, but we got a brand new hero, which is going to be great for our squad. Let's go check him out. And he's actually a two-star as well. It's got skills. Ooh, chain lightning. Lightning damage jumps up to four enemies with max jump distance of four cells. Every jump decreases damage by 30. Wow, that's a really cool skill. He can multi-hit a lot of targets. And he's a ranged unit, of course. This is just right down our alley here. So we got really lucky, I think. Let's go ahead and do some EXP books to level him up some. Do one more. Equip all the stuff, promote him up. So again, once you get a, a two-star or three-star hero, you want to start focusing them up and level them up because they're going to be a lot stronger than these basic heroes that you started the game with. Let's take a look at his new skill here. During melee attacks, enemy will receive damage from static electricity with 30% chance of being paralyzed for one round. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we have 7 points. Let's go ahead and put that stuff in Chain Lightning. And then let's put the rest in the Electrocution. All right, so let's put him on our squad here. Who are we going to take out? Maybe maybe the paladin dude. He's so slow. Yeah. All right, let's take out the paladin dude. And equip Gabble. All right, so... When you're not going to use a hero anymore, obviously you don't need to gear it up anymore. So let's go back. We're going to finish off this quest that we have. And we can see this guy in action. We're going to take out our starting paladin dude. And put another ranged mage in there. The two-star Merlin. Let's see how this works out. So we have three ranged units. We have our Dracula. as We're going to hopefully make him into like a tank-style unit. Hopefully he can absorb a lot of damage. He's got life steal and some other skills that potentially could give him more life, it looks like. So I think a squad like this might actually be really, really good and really effective. Again, right now we're just farming materials. So all this stuff is very simple. You do get EXP for having your troops in here, so that's part of the reason why we didn't use all our EXP books on Merlin when we got him. And then we're going to go into the daily task, check out our task, get those rewards, move on to the next one. Nice, level 12. Nice, level 13. So we're going to save the arena for the end of the uh, video here as you get stronger, and then we're going to go and take the arena victories that we can get. Because you don't want to go into the arena as a weak little gimpy heroes you're just going to die. You know, the more wins you get, the better rewards you get. So make sure that you level up and do it towards the end of the day. You do get five arena matches a day. Yeah, so it's making us go to the next one. Next one, next one. Next. So let's just keep going forward.
Wow, Merlin looks pretty cool. Six hundred eighty-nine damage. Yeah, I think we got a really good squad here. You can just see the damage difference. So our archer only does around 200. Oh, that was cool. The very first time that we've seen the vampire slash. So the archer does like 200. The mage does, the healing mage does around like 400. And then our two-star Merlin does around 600 damage. It's a, a massive increase in damage. From what I understand, they say... That this is actually the best healer in the game right now, uh, which is kind of surprising as they give it to you for free. And this, the archer is actually supposedly pretty crappy, <laughs> probably one of the worst units in the game. But for us, being free to play players, you do have to kind of use what you're given. The archer may not be the greatest, but he is a ranged DPS unit, and I love ranged units. And so we got. Lucky with a vampire who I think is probably pretty good. But again, anytime you pick up a 3-star or 2-star, you're definitely going to want to use them. Alright, so there's no more things there. So we unlock the heroic version after we finish Chapter 2. So let's go finish Chapter 2 up. Because this is going to unlock a very, very important version. This is where you're going to farm your soul stones for your heroes. So say you want to upgrade your mage. There's a stage in the next version, uh, the heroic stage, I believe it is, that allows you to farm this person. You only get to use three, you get to go in there three times per day though. So there's a daily limit on these. So it's very limiting, it's time sync, time consumption. And those are how you get your soul stones to level up these heroes. So I'm gonna again go hyper mode again and let the video finish up this chapter two because we should be easily able to beat these. We only got a couple more stages. So yes, yeah, so it's gonna be around 10 times speed. And then we'll start episode six, possibly with our arena matches or the legendary stuff. So thanks for watching guys. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And I will talk to you soon.